नमस्ते दिस वीडियो इज ब्रॉट यू बाय मर्च क्लासरूम एकेडमी प्रोडक्शन आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट प्रोटोप्लास्म इन सेर ऑर्गनल्स पार्ट 11 प्रोटोप्लास्म इज मे नॉट बी कैटेगराइज इन सबसेलुलर और इंटरसेलुलर ऑर्गनल्स इट्स अ लिक्विड मटेरियल इनसाइड द सेल्स इट्स अ सेमी लिक्विड मटेरियल बिटवीन न्यूक्लियर एंड सेल मेम्ब्रेन एंड इट्स the the material which exists between nuclear and cell membrane is called cytoplasm and the material present inside the nucleus is called nucleoplasm so there we can categorize cytoplasm oh sorry we can categorize protoplasm in two part the brief history in 1984 hugo van mol introduced semi liquid slimy and granular material and then Purkinje later is called it cytoplasm and nucleoplasm. J. Purkinje. Then Thomas Huxley called it physical basis of life. The protoplasm is actually a Greek word which means protos means first and plasm means liquid. So this is for the first liquid they called it this is the physical basis it's semi liquid material which has different names in different places as i say inside the nucleus is called nucleoplasm but outside the nucleus is called cytoplasm this is a base of a cellular activity thus called it live so so far nobody succeeded no scientist succeeded to reproduce uh, protoplasm inside the cell, inside the lab. However, this is a base of the cellular activities. If there's no protoplasm, cell will never exist. So that's why we call it life. Scientists call it a physical basis of life. In both animal and plant cells, there are protoplasm. This part outside the nucleus is called cytoplasm and inside it's called nucleoplasm. Together, nucleoplasm and cytoplasm is called protoplasm. It consists carbon, hydrogen, oxygen and many other organic or inorganic materials. The most major part is the water, 80% is water and then 15% are protein, then fats 3%, carbohydrates are 1% and several inorganic salts. Protoplasm has a various nature, it may be colloidal, it may be granular, fibrer, reticular or alveolar. Thank you. For more information, you can visit our website, you can write us email, you can also visit a blog for update and you can see all free videos in the YouTube channel or you can like us on Facebook and share the information.